What's going on guys? Welcome back to another quad vlog. We're out riding the Raptor 700 today with a special addition to the quad. We got the twist throttle installed last week and I have to say I'm loving it so far. Um, you know, it definitely took me a while to get used to it and I'm still getting used to it. It's, it's definitely weird because I'm so used to having that thumb throttle on the four-wheeler that getting used to this twist throttle is taking me some time. God, oh, this is Whoa. <laughs> guys got boost. Oh, it is a hot one. It is like 95 degrees out right now and it's, I don't know, eight o'clock at night still. It's ridiculous. But like I said, I'm really liking having the twist throttle on the quad. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me with my visor open, I don't know. But it makes the quad honestly a lot more comfortable to ride versus, you know, having your thumb off, you know, I don't know. I feel like the twist throttle is just a lot more natural than, you know, the thumb throttle that every four-wheeler has. Look at that, side by side. Everyone in this state has those and just like drives them in the city. It's ridiculous. I mean, I can't really say much because I'm on a quad, but I can't imagine, I don't know. I'm super hypocritical about this, but I can't imagine how much fun a side-by-side -side, like with a cage and a steering wheel would be like in the city, like not off-roading at all. I guess they're not too much different from a Jeep, but for like 20 grand, I don't know. I feel like they're a little overpriced to just drive them in the city. going 50 right now and the speed limit's 40 that guy's at least going 60 he's flying i haven't been able to get out just quite yet and do some wheelie practice with the new twist throttle but that video is definitely coming soon for today's video i wanted to come out and talk about a few of the times i've been pulled over by the cops riding my quad i've got a couple comments on the channel from you know a couple of you guys that are asking like how many times you actually get pulled over by the police even if it's legal to ride on the street, you know, a lot of people don't know that it's legal. Obviously, most of the cops know that it's legal to ride them on the street, but, um, you know, how many times do you get pulled over riding this thing on the street? And I have to be honest with you guys, both of the times that I was pulled over by the cops riding the quad were pretty uneventful. I mean, the first time I was pulled over, I was actually riding my Raptor 350. Now, I've sold that, but I was pulled over for speeding, I knew I was speeding, I was trying to go fast, <laughs> and the second time I was pulled over on this, I would think it was last summer, but believe it or not, I was pulled over in downtown here, I was pulled over by a motorcycle cop. And like I said, I've only gotten pulled over twice, but to be honest, where I live, it's not really a secret that the cops kind of pick on you know, the quads, the side-by-sides, the crotch rockets around town. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the same in every city because, you know, they're just kind of loud. You know, usually people like to go fast on them. So the cops definitely don't really give, you know, motorcyclists and quad riders a break. And that was made very apparent to me when I was pulled over the second time for improper turn signal. Like, it's not like, you know, if you're in a car and you put on your turn signal for, you know, you're supposed to have it on for like, I don't know, a couple hundred feet or whatever. If you don't put it on for a couple hundred feet, I guess the cops legally can pull you over. Yeah, but it's not like you actually get pulled over for that. Well, on my four-wheeler, I literally got pulled over for, you know, improper turn signal. It's just kind of a joke. Basically, when I'm on my quad, it's a little hard to always, you know, signal the proper way with your arm. You're supposed to hold your left arm up if you want to go right, and then you're supposed to hold it down if you want to go left, like that. And basically, I usually just point where I want to go with, with whichever hand. It's also hard because, um, you know, if you want your hand on the clutch, you can't really do it with this arm because, you know, it, it, you're supposed to do it with your left arm. So it's a little bit difficult to actually signal properly if you don't have, you know, blinkable lights to use as turn signals. Granted, that's my own fault for, you know, not installing turn signals, but if you're not legally allowed to have them, I mean, I don't really, I don't really care if I have to put them on. So I usually just use my hands. It's, you know, I think it's a much better way than actually having turn signals because if someone sees your arm like out in the air to the side, they know you're turning. They're not gonna run into you. 
So as you might guess, I was pulled over for simply doing this when I wanted to go in the right lane rather than, you know, holding my left arm up, which is, you know, the proper way to signal. And I didn't even know I was getting pulled over. I was so surprised. I was like, I have absolutely zero idea why you're pulling me over. And he's like, yeah, do you know how to... Uh, do you know how to signal when you don't have turn signals? I was like, oh yeah, I do. But I actually, I explained to the motorcycle cop, you know, I actually think that using your arms, you know, pointing where you want to go is a lot safer than, you know, this method because I'm pretty sure that 90% of drivers don't really know what, you know, if you hold your arm up like that, what that actually means versus holding it down. I don't think drivers know that. So I just point where I like to go. reminds me I actually forgot to mention something about the twist throttle that I dislike and that's the fact that it has like a lot of rotation to it it's not really like a short throttle I kind of like short throttles just because I don't know I, I just like having like full throttle just be like a simple twist but full throttle you actually have to twist it like more than a quarter turn which I mean it's not really that big of a con it's not really that big of a deal but I would prefer if it was like a shorter throw to it Alright, anyways, I forgot to mention another thing about the first time I was pulled over uh, for speeding on the four-wheeler. So the first time I was pulled over, they literally didn't check for anything on the quad. Like if it was street legal, horn, license plate light, headlight, brake light, they didn't, they didn't check for anything. He just wrote me a ticket for speeding and that was it. And I was like super happy about it because I didn't have a horn on the Raptor 350 either. It's like a makeshift red light or something. I don't really... I don't really know. I don't really know why it's red. It's not like anybody's over there. And the reason I wanted to tell you guys that is because the second time I got pulled over, that was a totally different story. He actually checked the quad for a mirror, a horn, which I didn't have at the time. Now I, you know, put a put one on. It doesn't work, but I can still show him that the horn's on there. Um, and a license plate light and all those other goodies. Roundabouts are so fun. Nope. <laughs> oh. So I definitely got a what's called like a fix it ticket for not having a horn basically just had to go pay $25 and say that I put a horn on the four wheeler which I did this light has been red far too long so the whole purpose of telling you guys those couple stories is basically I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of what it's like driving you know a ATV a four wheeler in the city because it's obviously not like driving a motorcycle and it's not like driving a car it catches a lot more attention it's kind of it's it's pretty loud and uh you know the cops necessarily don't like it you know these things are definitely not meant to be street legal they're, that's not what they're designed for basically south dakota the state that i live in and a few others in the united states have a few loopholes where the these things fall into and they're street legal here and i guess what i'm trying to say or what it comes down to is basically driving a quad in the city just draws unwanted attention from the cops and uh you know if you're speeding if you're you know doing a wheelie or whatever just expect to get pulled over just like a car and uh you know even if you uh you know, don't uh, signal your turn properly or you know, have a light out, expect to get pulled over by the cops. More so than you would in, you know, your average car. Alright guys, I'm headed home. It's a little too hot out to be riding. Even though it's nighttime, it's still too hot to be riding the quad. <laughs> I 
hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And I will see you guys next Saturday for another quad vlog.